Aloha everyone and welcome back to Los Angeles. My name's Shane and yes, this is the morning traffic at LAX. It's time to get out of here though and today I'm taking you on one of the world's best premium economy experiences. And I never thought I'd say this, it's on United. I'm taking you through to Tokyo in their long haul premium plus product. Our first stop today is Terminal 7 in the United Club. Inside you'll find loads of seating, it's breakfast buffet time so you find eggs, bacon, bagels and pastries. Now this is my favourite part of the lounge, after a long connecting flight the outdoor terrace is exactly what you want. Wi-Fi is available and a really nice bar with complimentary beverages. Premium liquor is available at a charge. Our aircraft today is a 78710, which is one of the newest in the Dreamliner series. It's configured with 44 Polaris Business Class seats, followed by 21 Collins Aerospace MIQ seats in Premium Plus. My seat today is 21L, a window seat. Now having a look at the united.com website, I've booked seat 21L, which is the exact seat that they showcase online. On top of two free checked bags, you'll get priority check-in and bag tags. You'll also get to use the premier access lane, which we've just experienced and zip through TSA. The seats are wide and that deep purple leather reminds you that we're not in economy anymore. You get good recline and a footrest, AC and USB power outlets. Sleep quality is critical on a long haul flight and you'll get an amenity kit from Therabody as well as an awesome blanket and pillow from Saks Fifth Avenue. The screen is a 13 inch touch screen and clink clink, you'll get real cutlery. Alcoholic beverages are free and noise reducing headphones are absolutely fab. The United in-flight entertainment system is awesome, it's definitely one of the better ones that are available. The IFE interface is customizable into major languages with accessibility and parental controls as well. You'll find tons of movies and your favourite TV programs to binge watch. Emirates still holds the gold standard in in-flight entertainment though, but hats off to United, I'm super impressed with the volume of content here. I keep reminding myself that it really wasn't that long ago that I was watching movies on the communal TV screens on the 747s between Sydney and LA and San Francisco. Wi-Fi is also available for purchase but please excuse me, I was deliberately trying to avoid working on this flight and I forgot to check on the exact cost. It typically starts at 8 bucks for mileage plus members. Now as stupid as it sounds, I think I've officially fallen in love with this tray table. It's huge and bifold so you don't have to fully extend it giving you better access in and out of your seat and on the back it has device support as well so you can lean your tablet or phone up against it and watch a movie or read and it's also lined so your drink or snacks don't slide off into your lap. On the side of the seat you'll find a remote and game controller as well so you don't have to lean forward when you're fully reclined and there's also controls there to extend the leg rest on your seat. You'll find an extra drink holder on the end of the armrest as well as a little power point and storage cubby too so your phone is out of the way when you're charging it. Awesome. 
If you'd like to take a peek at Alaska Premium Economy, watch to the end and I'll include a recent video on the end screen. Now this is a great feature, it's called relax mode. You can pair relaxing audio with visuals to help you drift off to sleep and block out all the rest of the cabin noise. For lunch we have grilled chicken with Asian greens and rice. I literally have half a lemon with this and it's the most delicious sauce. Yum. You know I've got a sweet tooth and this lemon pound cake cookie crumb cake sounds confusing and it looks like a raw chicken nugget but it is so good I could eat about 10 of them. And a quick loo review. Yes it's still a gross plain toilet but it's a pretty reasonable size. Now the cabin is settling down, the lights have been dimmed and everyone's starting to get some rest. The amenity kit is by Therabody and the pouch itself is made from recycled plastic bottles. There's an eye mask. Socks. I think this is a moisturiser and lip balm. Some earplugs. Tissues. And a dental kit. Not bad at all. So I've woken up and I'm really confused. We left around 11.30 a.m. We had lunch and I'm usually jet lagged, but I've woken up to breakfast and we'll be landing shortly, which is mid afternoon in Tokyo. Oh well, this is the best surprise breakfast I've had in premium economy anywhere. And before we land, let me wrap up this flight review. 
Firstly, the cost. If you're looking to book this flight, one way from LAX to Tokyo in Premium Plus will set you back around 1790 Australian dollars. I jumped on a sale fare I found on Google Flights from Singapore to LAX via Haneda and paid around 1642 Australian dollars. This was a code share flight, which was three flights with A&E, &A, and this one. Now this product delivered exactly what was in the brochure, a very spacious, high quality hard product with all the luxuries you want on board. You get an amenity pack, high quality blanket and pillow, and the IFE was perfect. Now in-flight dining, this caught me by surprise, it was really good. And if anyone has experienced breakfast in the afternoon on this route, please let me know in the comments. I wasn't sure whether this was planned or whether they actually mixed up the service. Either way, it was delicious and I ate it all. Now I love a good lounge, especially in airports that aren't so nice. So if you're wanting to add the United Club to your experience, you can pay to access this lounge on entry from 59 US dollars. And if you haven't already, I'd love it if you can hit the like button. Please support the channel and don't forget to subscribe as well and come and see some of the world with me. Thanks for watching and until next time, safe travels.